I'm Thorne Dickinson. This show allows me to talk with Mainers working on the most important clean energy project to ever come to our state. We discuss how this project is providing jobs and other benefits today while creating clean energy for a better tomorrow. So we're in uh, Johnson Mountain Township again today. A little bit different. Uh, one of the things that we've been working on in preparation for construction is getting all the access roads uh, ready to go. And there's a real synergy there because uh, particularly like the ATV uh, trails, the snowmobile trails, they rely on these old logging roads in order to be able to access them, enjoy the, the area on their trips. And what we're able to do by coming in here and grading this road, which is significantly better than what we had before, taking the big rocks out of here, smoothing things out, it really improves uh, the experience for all the people that are out here to enjoy the recreation of the area. I think it makes it a lot safer for their travel. They haven't got any uh, rocks, you know, to push them into the woods. It's, it's a lot smoother, safer travel for the ATVs. Yeah, and like I think our commitment as a whole project team is not to impact them during our construction period, to leave behind the trails or even material like some of the mats uh, that could improve their experience. And in the long run, create this new quarter all the way to the Canadian border that they can experience and create that trail along that quarter. That's going to be a great place to recreate when it's when it's done. The snowmobiling, ATV, hiking, cross-country skiing or snowshoeing, the hunting opportunities that are going to be opened up by this, it's, it's going to be endless, the recreational opportunities. I got two more coming. Okay. okay, thanks a lot. I'll just wait right here. You bet. Have a good day. That's a prime example of yeah. we're going to have construction here, but we're going to keep the trails open. Yeah. And we're going to grade them so that they can have a, a positive experience with the trails. And the, the thing that's happened with the whole pandemic is a lot of talking with the, the people of the different uh, clubs is they're finding older people getting out and recreating in the ATVs, so they don't want to ride on a rough road, rough trails. So they're, they want to ride on the trails that we're, we're grading and, and taking care of. Yeah, and they looked like it was a mixed age group, I would say, I, that uh, I, just passed us. It was, yeah. <laughs> Everyone was at, looked like they were having fun. Yeah, they did. The most important. So, uh, so Jim, we're out on uh, Judd Road, right? And yes. we're still in Johnson Mountain here. Yes. Right? And, uh, and I think this is a great opportunity to show kind of some of the things we're doing and some of the commitments we're following through with and maybe just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so this road last time we were in here, this little hill right here, wasn't navigable without four wheel drive. And we had a rough time getting over this culvert. So we've been in here with the grader, uh, trying to help two things, the project to be able to get in on the roads and to also help the clubs, the ATV and later on the snowmobile so that the roads are smoother, you're fixing washouts uh, and it makes it safer. So we've done the grading, the culverts will be coming in within the next week or two, like the, this one down here that you can see exposed will get dug out and it'll essentially keep the water from washing down the road and creating that washout again which can make a drop off for an ATV and they could potentially get hurt. So there is a safety side to, to grading these roads for the project. It, it helps the clubs. Uh, we're gonna be putting out signage with heavy trucking so that the trails can stay open in this area, we can do the work, and the businesses don't suffer because we're here. It, it keeps the flow of business, people getting gas, getting food, patronizing the local businesses. I know we were committed as a project team. I think probably 80% of the people that are on this yeah. project do ATV, yeah. do snowmobiling. Yeah. The last thing we want to do is have any negative impact. Yeah. So we committed that during construction, no impacts. In fact, we right. passed a couple of ATV or yeah. like drawing the, the road on the way up here. That was great to see. And then in the long run, leaving this in a better condition mm -hmm. with hopefully material and things that can help them yes. manage their existing and then the, the new trail all the way to the Quebec border. Right. I don't doubt it's going to be a, a better recreational experience for anyone that comes up here. And as we're finding now that we're coming out of the pandemic, a lot more people have been out recreating on these snowmobiles and ATVs. They're finding 
Older people are coming out with their kids, their grandkids, and they don't want to be bounced around on these rough trails. They want a nice, smooth ride out there, so hopefully we can help provide that. That's great. And I know you've had a lot of, a lot of you spent a lot of time with the snowmobile clubs and the ATV people that are going to be using it. Yeah. Uh, the, any any things that come to mind out of out of those experiences? Or? I've had a. Uh, had a run-in with a few of the uh, club members. Uh, one of them who thought that CMP was more of a anti-ATV and they really like snowmobiles on their, their transmission lines. And I, I told him, you know, with all my experience of 36 plus years in the company, we've worked with both snowmobile and ATV to when they want to have opportunities on the trails. and. I told him, in fact, most of the southern trails in the state of Maine, because of the lack of open forest land like you see up here, are on our transmission lines. And I said, we work very closely with ATV clubs, so there's great opportunity. And he did not realize that we do encourage it and we'll license the trail. So he had a misconception, and I think it turned his, his mind around as to, well, maybe this is not all a bad thing. It was... Uh... It was great to be back out on the, the new section of the right-of-way that goes from uh, the Forks all the way up to the Canadian border. And what we're seeing are the massive improvements we see in the, the logging trails that have been here. Something that we need to do in order to prepare for the next stage of construction, but also provide us huge benefits to the communities that use this for ATV access, for snowmobiling in the future, their ability to get out there and hunt. and. Uh, experience some beautiful, beautiful woods up in this area. So it's great to see progress being made and us also following through in the commitments we've made to the people in the community.